This one's going to be an uncomfortable one. But repeat this with me. I am the only one that has heard 100% of the lies that I've told. One more time. I am the only person in the world that has heard 100% of the lies that I've told. And this isn't lies to other people or just lies to other people. This is lies that you've told yourself about your limitations, about what is and isn't possible. The things that you believe that others say and you repeat that to yourself knowing it's a lie. The, I'm going to quit doing this bad habit, or I'm going to start this good habit, and then just not showing up for it at all, or showing up for a day or two, and then going right back to what you are doing before you set that intention. There's a time for change, and it's now. The best time is now. When you put intense action behind your statements, behind your good habits, the only thing that can follow is a good result. And even if you fail, if you continue going, there's nothing that can stop you. You see, I wanted to record this video while I was still outside, but when 3.30 turns to 4.30 and 4.30 turns to 5 o'clock, the road conditions are completely different. In this area that I'm in, in Dallas, I think it's called the South Side, there are a lot of factories. Uh, there's a train system. There is a dairy plant. So there's a lot of semis driving by. And also there's something about some of these states where there's a sidewalk for a little bit and then it just stops. And then you're on the road. So you get across the streets, so you're walking against traffic. So you can see who's coming at you. There were a lot, a lot of obstacles this morning. I told myself I was going to make this video no matter what. So right now it's eight o'clock. I've got work in a few hours and I still need to edit the video that shows my day 159 progress. But all of this stuff is a truth, not a lie that I told myself today that I was going to accomplish. And that's what I'm setting out to do. But I need to make this video so that you can also think about this concept. Every time you have a little bit too much alcohol and you tell yourself that lie that you're never going to drink again, only to seven or eight hours later, after your hangover, you're back drinking again, or you go back to that ex and you say, you know, this is the last time I'm not doing this again. And then somehow a few weeks later, you find yourself back in that same situation, you know, the poisonous relationships poisonous substances, the goals that we never actually go after, the things that we buy and we don't use, but we lie to ourselves and we say we need it when it's really just a want in the moment. It's a bit of retail therapy. All of these things stack up on a shelf, either physical or mentally. And it's something that we have the hardest time getting past. We almost don't even allow ourselves to get past it because we're constantly taking a mental inventory of the things that we've accumulated over time, mentally, spiritually, and physically. And once we allow ourselves to let go of these limiting beliefs and stop lying to ourselves, start telling ourselves the truth. If you don't like what you see in the mirror, let yourself know. You have the power to fix it. It's, it's there's power behind this. I didn't like who I saw in the mirror. I didn't like the person I was becoming. I didn't like the bad habits. I was sick of it. I was over it. I told myself a truth almost 600 days ago that I was going to quit alcohol completely. I do not want a substitute for it. I don't want something that looks like it. I don't want something that comes in a bottle that is shaped like a beer bottle. I don't want it. No, thank you. I will drink a water. Thank you very much. It's what works best for my body. The season of poisoning is over. The season of consuming sugar is over for me. It's over. It's done. 
when you get in the habit of telling yourself the absolute truth and no more lies and you don't accept lies from yourself, that means you're going to show up no matter what. I didn't get to go to sleep here until 1130 last night. My alarm went off at three o'clock in the morning. I opened my eyes, said a quick prayer and got up and put my clothes on and went out the door. This is a non-negotiable. If I can't show up for myself, how can I show up for you? How can I show up for my wife? How can I show up for my family? It's impossible. There is no galaxy where I can lie to myself, where you can lie to yourself and show up consistently in a way that matters, in a way that can change your life and other people's lives. I'm so serious about this because it's not, it's nothing to play with. Like we're dying from the day we're born. We're dying. That's the harsh reality of it. You may not want to hear it. You may think I'm going to live 300, 400 years. That's not the truth. Everyone says tomorrow's not promised. Like today isn't promised. I don't know what happens after I leave this hotel room, but if I can deliver this message to you, then I'm not serving myself and I'm not serving you. This is what I feel like I'm meant to do. Help empower you and also empower myself to become the best version, a great example for other people to set on on the course, to do some things they never thought they could do, to reach some heights they never thought they could achieve. It's about daily consistent action. The message is the same. The delivery is a little bit different. For me, it's waking up at three, putting on my clothes, getting out the door, and coming back after I've got 24,000 steps logged on my watch. And then I repeat it the next day. I'm seeing the changes. I'm seeing the results. The fruits of my labor today is 159 days of a minimum of 24,000 steps. That's not the maximum. So most days I'll do 30, 35, 40,000. And every 2,000 steps is about a mile for me. So when you're talking 35, 40,000 steps at 17 and a half to 20 miles in a single day, day after day after day after day, I do not believe the lie that they tell us about you need a cheat meal, you need to do this, you need to do that. It's just negative programming from people that don't want you to get ahead. I'd love to see you get ahead. I would love to see you win. That is why I have a tattoo of win on my arm, because I'm not interested in losing. I'm not interested in loss for any of the people that rock with me, period. There's no space for that. Winner's mindset, you can develop it. It does not happen overnight. But now that the actions in my life are non-negotiable, there is no way I can go back. There's no way. I, I can't even perceive it. This morning I went to breakfast here at the hotel. It is a breakfast buffet full of sweets, baked goods, you name it. I piled my, my plate high with bacon and sausage. It looks like I got her crazy. And I don't care. I'm not walking someone else's journey. I'm walking my own journey. I have the vision to see the best version of myself coming out on the other side of all of these activities and these disciplines that I'm showing up for day in and day out. Do you know what happens when you do the same? When you realize the same? Think about all of the things that you've accomplished that you take for granted, like being able to speak, being able to write, being able to eat on your own, being able to go to the bathroom and clean yourself after. Those are all things you did not know before. Those were things that you were unwilling to quit on. And now on the other side of it, it's something you do unconsciously. I get up unconsciously typically 2.30 to 2.45, 30 to 15 minutes before my alarm goes off every single morning. And I love it. I love that I get the opportunity to get up and get out 
before anyone has any time to plan anything in my mind. Think about how powerful that is. Where I get to be 100% me without any influence from anyone else for a few hours before I start my day, before I interact with anyone else. Think of how powerful that is. I've got hours that I can spend to learn and grow before the sun even comes up. I'm serious about this. You will witness my growth and I want to witness your growth. But you need to stop lying to yourself. I stopped lying to myself. I used to say I didn't care what people thought, but now I actually believe I do not care what people think. I'm willing to share things on this platform with strangers that I don't know and I may never meet. People that may have positive things to say about it. People that may have negative things to say about it. It is what it is. I'm another human going through a human experience just like you. There's nothing different than me and you. There's, there's no difference. We're all the same. We all have problems. We all have bills. We all have this. We all have that. I just sent a few thousand dollars to another credit card this morning. That part of my life I'm done with. I'm done with buying things to impress people that don't even really like me. And I didn't really want that stuff anyways. I thought it would give me a feeling of being fulfilled. But it was just another lie. Once you stop lying to yourself, once you start telling yourself the truth, the sky will open up for you. The opportunities will rain down on you. I kept telling myself I was happy with my situation, that drinking was something that I loved to do. Just like walking, I had to learn to love drinking. But I remember my first drink, and the face that I made, I could feel the face that I made when I took that first sip. And I bet if I could see my face, it wouldn't look, I, look like I was loving it. I tricked myself into thinking, I love this type of beer. I love this type of tequila. That was a trick. It was training. And it was egged on by other people that were in the same boat, tricked by the same thing. From very young children, we are programmed in the movies that we watch, in the TV shows that we watch, that the way to unwind is with substances. And you don't believe me? Okay. Look up this scene. It's from a movie called A Bug's Life, where there's a mosquito sitting at a bar that orders a Bloody Mary O positive. Now, there's a subliminal in there, and there's got to be entertainment for parents, but at the same time, you don't think that that one message isn't soaking into the young minds that are filling that movie theater? Think about it. The bar scenes in kids' movies, the alcohol uh, advertisements that are on TV in between sports games that you might be watching with your mom or your dad on Sunday, or the basketball games. Kids look up to their parents. Kids' brains are sponges. And we start to soak in all this negative stuff at such a young time, such a young age, such a vulnerable age, that by the time we are in the position to make decisions for ourselves, we only make the bad ones. We think we're doing something great for ourselves. But it's the complete opposite. And it's all based on the marketing Unfortunately, there's some very smart people at the top that have figured out the psychology of what makes us tick, of what makes us want to do something that we know instinctively is bad for us. It makes us want to put ourselves in a situation where we might go out and drink a little bit too much and then get behind the wheel and drive. They know it is a system designed by people that know psychology. They know alcohol is dangerous, yet they let us drink it anyways. During the pandemic, they know smoking is dangerous and we're dealing with a respiratory disease, yet they let people still smoke. If there's money involved, they're going to let it go. The benefits for the government for DUIs is that when you crash, 
it ruins your life. You pay more for insurance. You pay that big old fine. You go to jail and make some stuff for pennies on the dollar. And the cycle just continues and continues and continues because they know psychology-wise, most people cannot break out of this cycle that they were trained to be in from a child. It is time to wake up. It's time to stop lying to yourself. Now, you're going to get videos like this every now and then for me. I think about this stuff. It gets me fired up. It makes me happy and it makes me sad. It makes me sad because I realized I was in a state like this last year. But I developed the love for myself, the love for my, my family to change the way that I am to a winner's mindset. I'm looking to get debt free. I'm already alcohol and drug free. And I'm looking at reaching new heights. I'm looking at putting my family in a position where we can all smile and be happy, where we don't have to succumb to this rat race. We're not here to just work and go home and consume Netflix and go to sleep. That's not why we're here. Come on, man. Look at how freely animals roam. If you have a, a dog or a cat as a pet, look at how cool their life is. Are they worried about things? Nope. You bring some catnip, catnip home for your cat. They're psyched for a little while. And then the catnip runs out, whatever happens with it. And then they're back to being the same jerk that they were before you got it. But their life doesn't change whether you make $100 million or you don't make any money at all. They just love your companionship. Life is literally that simple. But we complicate it because we compare ourselves to others. We tell ourselves lies. And we bring in more limiting beliefs that because we're not doing as good or better than this guy next to us, that we're somehow a failure. Not realizing that we can have a lasting impact on other people's lives that can change the course of their life forever. And maybe their kids and their kids' kids because they saw a good message instead of something negative on the news. You can impact people in a positive way if you start working on yourself today. I want to say thank you so much for watching this. And if you're done telling lies to yourself, I want you to leave the word lies in the comment section below. One by one, we can all change to be better people, to show up for ourselves and tell ourselves the truth that we need to hear. Ditch the substances. Get on a track of becoming the best version of you you can be. And I promise you, one year from now, two years from now, five years from now, you will thank yourself. You will thank yourself for the rest of your life. There's a better life on the other side of these lies. That'll be great. Have a great day.